Hi, I'm Daryl. And I'm Maxwell. And welcome, welcome to, to Seriously Serial. Thanks to our supporters on Patreon, we now have two shows every Saturday. I'm a supporter. And you can support the show for as little as $2 a month and get awesome rewards. Do you like to eat your cereal dry? Then you're a snacker. Or do you prefer with milk? Then you're a spooner. Today's cereal is... Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Versus... Cinnamon Crunch. It's Seriously Cereal Versus Mode! Alright, Daryl, yeah. welcome to Seriously Cereal. Thank you, thank you folks. We're always glad to have a patron for a Versus Mode. Oh yeah. So this time, like we said before, we have Great Value Cinnamon Crunch and General Mills Cinnamon Toast Crunch. And right off the bat, I do have to say, I'm not quite used to the new Cinnamon Toast mascot. Crunch mascots yet. Like these little... This little guy right yeah, here? Yeah, the crazy squares that they call them. Yeah. I'm more used to the little chef. There's more on the package, yes. Like, I remember the chef. He had oh, a little okay. song. Yeah. We're Cinnamon Toast. So strong. We're Cinnamon okay, Toast. Okay, Part of the family. Okay, I don't remember that, but no. I do remember the chef. Like I remember. Wendell. I was surprised to learn that he was actually, like, removed from the box, like, even before 2010, they introduced me guys then, I could have sworn he was around for longer than that, but, hmm. I mean, stuck around longer, I know he was like a Lord since the 90s, but, yeah, uh, you know, now that you mention it, I didn't even notice he was gone till, yeah, till today. Yeah, just these squares again. In terms of the boxes, before we get right into the cereal, uh, what's interesting about the Great Value Cinnamon Crunch is that it's actually the same on both sides. It's actually a little disorienting thing, really. It's like, oh, is this like, facing the wrong way? No. No toys, no cartoons. No, but we do have activities in terms of the Cinnamon Toast Crunch. So we got Slurp, yes. Cinnamonster, and Ah! Slurp is an excuse for the maze, Cinnamon is an excuse for a word scramble, and Ah <laughs> is an excuse for a, like, difference in pictures, and also, like, yeah, that face he has after being covered in milk, I don't like that. I don't it, like that at it all. It does look like a horror film, except with milk. Yeah, but yeah. he looks very traumatized, but to be fair, I, I, I think I might be too if I was cinnamon and put in milk, but then again, this is Cinnamon Toast Crunch, it's supposed to be crunchy, what's he afraid of? I, right! I mean, I guess it's not Captain Crunch, because they're, they're all things like that. It's not like they're wearing like, boots or anything. Yeah, but it, it gets thick. I think know. cinnamon should be a little more careful around milk, not gonna lie. Me, personally, I usually go for Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I don't think I've ever actually had the generic brand. But I did notice whole grain was the first ingredient. Oh, yeah. I mean, you can see that there. I yeah. find that a little odd, because you'd think maybe toast would be the first ingredient. <laughs> or cinnamon, it's, maybe. It's a lie, it's a lie. It's a lie! <laughs> Cinnamon and toast does not hold prominence in this cereal. No. Appearance-wise, they are pretty darn similar. The only real difference I can see is that the Cinnamon Toast Crunch, it has these, like, lines on it. Ah. Meanwhile, Cinnamon Crunch has the ridges, but not really the lines, if you can see. I do see the difference. I might have to analyze this one in more depth. Yeah. Get to the tasting side. Of yes, things. indeed. The most, I mean, honestly, the biggest difference is usually the taste. But appearance-wise, they're pretty similar. Like, do they smell any different? Same size. I'm yeah. Sure. Have you smelled them? Okay. Uh, a little bit of a cinnamon smell there. 2019 is a good vintage for cinnamon. <laughs> yeah, and unfortunately, unfortunately, the problem with that is that set off and the flavors are not that good. That. Oh, okay, that's a little bit stronger. Yeah, I noticed a big difference between okay, that's, the two. That could, be, that could mean one of two things. That could either mean that the Cinnamon Toast Crunch is going to be a little more flavorful, or it's going to be overpowering. Which makes me very actually nervous for you, Daryl, because the milk might actually like balance that out, but you're going to be heating it dry. So I guess that's the trade-off. You have to handle the flavors more unbalanced. Meanwhile, I have to handle eating with a spoon while blindfolded. <laughs> we'll, we'll figure it out. I'm sure there's a safety crew standing by. <laughs> Hopefully, or I'll just have to, if I drop any cereal, I'll just have to <laughs> quickly eat it off the table again. <laughs> I don't need to let things sit on the table. I know it looks, I know it looks gross and but whatever, but I don't, I don't want to ruin this tablecloth. It's such a nice tablecloth. <laughs> it's beautiful. I love the pattern. I know. Oh, it's soft. It's so, nice. it. it's so nice, we use it for so many shows. It's, it's, soft. <laughs> it's soft and warm. It's soft. <laughs> and I don't want to ruin it. What about calories? Are there, oh, yeah. is there any difference in calories? Well, total calories here is uh, 130 and 170 with milk. Yep, same here. Uh, how about serving size? Uh, over here it's what, 3 fourths cup. 
It is what three three fourths cup, yeah, thirty one mm -hmm. grams. I'm noticing though that it's for cinnamon crunch servings about nineteen. Uh, cinnamon toast, it's about eleven. I mean, it makes sense, like a smaller box versus a bigger box. It does make much sense. bigger. Yeah. But. How many? How much is your weight there? I got twelve ounces. Twenty four, twenty five ounces. Yeah. So you know, it's significant. Yeah, like seriously. Oh, by the way, are you whole green wheat as your first ingredient? Oh, uh, let me see. Uh, whole wheat flour. Not whole, whole wheat flour, uh, as opposed to whole green wheat flour. Yeah, that's why they don't. Mm. I guess that's why they don't like advertise it on the side like they do there. But we do like say front and center, sweetened wheat and rice, flavored with real cinnamon, <laughs> flavored with love and good intention. Those are always the most flavorful they are. emotions. They are. Just out of curiosity, it w was this like a $3 box and this is a, a $2 box or do we know? Usually actually the great value brands are not actually that much cheaper, like 20 cents or so. I unfortunately don't recall the exact difference. No, no, but I mean it's a smaller box and if you yeah. get a larger box for about the same price, yeah. you can that, that is a good deal. get a couple extra bowls out of your, your mornings. So. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. The one thing, but, but I think the real deciding factor is if the taste is different, is it like worth it to get more if it's not that cinnamon toast crunch right. experience? Right, right. Do you want something that tastes wonderful or do you want something that fills a hole? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and that, honestly, it's important to know. Yeah. And let's, how about we see which one that is and dive right into taste test. I'm dying. <laughs> dying. I'm dying to try it. All right. <laughs> let's get right into it. <laughs> You can, but I mean, I, I don't know if it's gonna help unless your nose is like super powered or something. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the cinnamon toast crunch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it smells like cinnamon toast crunch. All right. Uh, mm. It tastes like a cinnamon toast crunch. I mean, as to be, as is to be expected, but maybe a little less flavorful. Huh. Like maybe a little less cinnamon. Uh -huh. It's got a little cinnamon flavor to it. Hmm. Would you like to say about as much as like you recall cinnamon toast crunch having? Um, it's been a little while since I've had cinnamon cereals. I'm a huge cinnamon fan. Yeah, I can see how people would enjoy this. It does have like a bit of that like eggy taste that cinnamon toast crunch does have, which I like. Mm, yeah, like that almost kind of brings to my French toast, which is, which is actually more compared to like French toast crunch if you ever if you ever, if you've ever had that. <laughs> Um, no, I, I'd like to try French Toast Crunch. I love maple syrup flavors. You yeah. should. It's actually really good. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. Honestly, Cinnamon Toast Crunch and like all oh, its like little, I guess, spin-offs per se, always the best cinnamon cereal on the market. Like Frosted Flakes recently came out with a Cinnamon Flake brand. It's it's not great. You tried it. Yeah. Yeah, go, go watch it now on YouTube right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, Marie's the King for me. Of cinnamon cereal. Uh, I, you know, I like snacking my cereal, but I could see not wanting to eat this while I was on my computer because mm. the huge dust factor. Yeah, it's definitely. I can feel it tickling its way down my shirt. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely very messy if you eat it dry. Mm. I have one bonus with it being a milk. The milk kind of, <laughs> the milk. The cinnamon kind of is washed away by the milk. Yes. So like the milk itself all becomes cinnamon flavor. It's like the cereal is soaking in the cinnamon. You know, so like it doesn't, but some cinnamon no longer comes up with it when you eat it. Certain cereals do that better than others. Yeah. Like chocolatey ones. Honestly, as someone who likes to drink the milk once I'm done with the main cereal, so nothing's wasted. Yeah. Like how chocolatey milk is after having chocolate cereal is like a definite bonus for me. If it's, it's done well. It's like a treat. Mm -hmm. And you know, sometimes if you like, this is just me. I, I'm not telling anybody to do this, but if you have a oh, second ahead. bowl of cereal in the same milk. Yeah. <gasps> <sighs> yeah, the, the it's like having it dessert. It's it just heightened. <laughs> it's awfully good stuff, but I'm not really sure yet about this one. It tastes about cinnamon, like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Again, maybe a little less flavorful. I'm going to have to try the next cereal, I'd like to be sure. I, I think I'm ready to try the next cereal. All right. Yeah. Should we move on? Then? All right. Because I thought. <laughs> All right, so this is cereal two. I'm giving it the sniff test. Are you already munching? Yeah. Okay, definitely more powdery. 
less solid. Yeah. And more favorite. cinnamony, but that might just be because it hasn't soaked into the milk yet. I, so, uh, I, I ate one square so far, and I already have a favorite. Is this one or the previous one? I'm honestly curious. Am I spoiling it by telling you it's this one? <laughs> no. Because, honestly, my taste looks like we've had a full cereal experience. Like, I have one stuck in my throat. We'll be fine. <laughs> no! Well, Captain Crunch was the only one that was that hurt the roof of your mouth. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're now, now I'm good. Yeah. And actually, they are getting. I said they were a little more like powdery and crunchy as opposed to like the kind of chewy egginess of the previous one, but they do get less dry once they stay in the milk for a while. So maybe that's just like cinnamon toast crunch. They like they do over. they do soak up the the milk a little mm -hmm. faster than say Captain yeah. Crunch would. Mm -hmm. Captain Crunch is exactly. notoriously crunchy. Yeah, I love Captain Crunch. Oh, especially yeah. the one with crunch berries. Those are so good. That's my. It's taste. the only time where. Like most crunch berries are the only time where like an artificial dye flavor is actually good in my personal opinion. So we, we were discussing the you know cost of these packaging yeah. a few minutes ago. Mm -hmm. And what did we hear? It was three three eighty for the small box? I believe so. And then two eighty for the big box? Yeah. Is that right? At the at the very least a like whole a of buck a, difference. Almost a, a buck difference. For yeah. the smaller package as was for the and, and a dollar cheaper for the larger package. Yeah, that, that's great value. It's, it's great value. They don't have to pay for marketing. Mm -hmm. You got 20 seconds for a story? Yeah. Back in the old days, I'm blind. I can't see anything, so I'm just going <laughs> to wiggle my hands out in the world. But McDonald's yeah. paid a million dollars of all different kinds of inspections and traffic routines and to see where people would drive by their stores. A million oh. dollars was spent to find the perfect location for each one of their McDonald's stores. Okay. And Wendy's just opened up a store right across the street from every McDonald's <laughs> again. Yeah, it's, you, the, it's the same thing with the cereal. The expensive yeah. brands pay for the big advertising mm -hmm. and get you into the grocery store and now you see there's one a dollar cheaper and a bigger yeah. box. What are you going to do? Yeah, it's like you guys do all the work. We'll just open up right next to it. Absolutely. We're, we're, like Wendy's is like, we'll just be the alternative. We're waving at you at you the big the sale price in the bargain bin over here. Yeah, and great value is like, you know, they'll do all the marketing and we'll just be there as a cheaper alternative. You know, and a lot of times I find the great value product is just as good. Mm -hmm. although, it varies though. Although we are finding that there are differences yeah. between whichever B is and whatever A is. Mm -hmm. I am really serious to find out yeah. which one is better in my kids. Yes. So how, how does this one hold up compared to the previous one? Like is it any different? I like the flavor much better dry. Mm -hmm in this one than I did in first choice, number one. I am judging my taste on the crunch of the actual flakes themselves, the oh, individual yeah. things. Yes, the cinnamon is really good, but cinnamon and sugar tastes like cinnamon and sugar pretty yeah. much no matter who makes it. But the real flavor seems to be the difference in the actual squares, I guess. Square. Yeah. Uh, I mean, they're kind of bent, but squares. They are a little more sticky. But maybe that's oh. just because, you know, I'm getting all excited and my hands are getting all yeah. sweaty. Personally, I don't think, like, Cinnamon Toast Crunch works as a snack or cereal, per, per se. It's a little too messy in my opinion. It's a lot time. messy. You wouldn't want it at the office. You wouldn't no. want it on the on the couch, right? Mm -hmm. Watching TV with a big bowl of these, you'd end up with more more than, like, popcorn all over the house. You know what I mean? Yeah. You may as well have a bucket of tinsel you just throw around the house. <laughs> Yeah, seriously. Okay, one thing I am noticing though, now that I'm through with the cereal, yes, the milk is just... incredibly cinnamony. Oh, better than number one? Uh, I think it's a little overpowering, not gonna lie. Really? Not as overpowering as, say, the cinnamon flakes, you know, frosted flakes. Yeah. But it's definitely more extreme. All right, so, you, so we are in agreement then that we liked choice number two. Maybe? I'm not sure. As far as flavor goes. I'm not sure, because this is more, this is definitely stronger, but I'm not sure personally if that's a good thing. I'm going to have to think on this a little bit. Now, more. are you just tasting the milk, or are you tasting the cereal still, too? Well, at this point, I'm just tasting the milk, but I personally try and take into account, like, how the milk is affected by the cereal, just yeah. because that is such a big part of being a spooner, you know? Yeah! Right. I, I did notice that you, you were right, that it seems like this particular version is a little little bit more powdery. Yeah. So maybe that's adding more to your milk flavor. Yes. In this version than in the other. Version. Yeah, because like what I'm used to with like cinnamon toast crunch is a little bit of egginess almost like French toast, which they just emphasize for the French toast crunch. Yeah. This seems like just a little more like a basic crunchy cereal. Yeah. It gets soggy in milk, but not like, you know, gross and melty or whatever. It doesn't like decompose in your mouth. Or I gotta ask <laughs> you. Disintegrate in your mouth. Yeah. I gotta ask you, I mean, do you think that it's you're in a hurry? 
trying to beat the slushy factor of your cereal. Do you know what I'm saying? Definitely, oh, definitely. I am <laughs> always in like a, in a rush to make sure it doesn't get soggy, especially with uh, frosted flakes. If you've, had, if you've ever had those of milk, it's like those get, when those are foggy, it is the worst. Uh, you know, I started my early childhood like with Special K, which is oh, like yeah. naked frosted flakes. Yeah. They're, they're, they're pretty good, but you know, yeah, you either have to build a dam where you keep some side of it wet and you have to stack it up so it's high and get yep. some dry, mm -hmm. or else it's just slush. You may as yeah. well have oatmeal. Those first couple bites where it's slightly soggy are perfect, but if you wait too long, it's like, Ugh. Yeah. But this is an interesting, like, map matchup for like the Cinnamon Toast Crunch bread. I'm going to... Oh, I think I'm gonna have to like think about this. This is really interesting. Yeah, now I might have to try the version one again, just just for science. Yeah. But I'm sure we could have like a square or two between <laughs> between now and like the final thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> just keep the blindfolds on, no cheaters. Okay. All right, so uh, before we go into our final thoughts, I'd just like to set the record straight once for all. I have here my handy dandy device known as a iPhone. I don't know if any of you guys out there have heard of it. It's kind of a new invention recently. Uh, only the most people hippest with the trend will know what this is. <laughs> Anyways, uh, just to set it straight once and for all, the Cinnamon Toast Crunch is 364, Cinnamon Crunch is 285. So about 70, 80 cent difference right there, I'd say. Yeah. But that's interesting. For the Cinnamon Crunch, you actually get a little bit more for yeah. a lower price. Eight ounces more? Yeah. Like late value knows what they are doing. But uh, okay, uh, would you like to go first or should I? As far as final thoughts? Yeah. The cereal is crummy. Okay. And I don't mean that technically. It's no, just it's all the crumbs are everywhere. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. And that's consistent across both bowls. That, that is one of the advantages of being a spooner from this particular cereal. And hey, it doesn't look like I spilled any this time. <laughs> Amazing! So, how would you rate like bowl number one? I liked bowl one. I, I would have given it four spoons, mm -hmm. I thought, for, for the cinnamon toast yeah. crunch variety. I would have given it four spoons until I tried bowl number two. Mm -hmm. Which took now, four spoons away. Now, I noticed you said Cinnamon Toast Crunch for Nut Bowl 1. I, whatever they're called, they're the Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Oh, I see. I'm sorry, I thought you were saying that in your personal opinion, you thought that Bowl 1 of a 1 was the Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I, mean, I honestly, I kind of do personally. Uh, I wore a blindfold and I closed it in my eyes. So <laughs> I really don't know. But you can see with your mind's eye. I, I could feel the textures of the two in my mouth mm -hmm. and in my hands. Yeah, they are they are different. The definitely differences that, that are noticeable with your eyes closed. Yes. Yeah. And that's part of the beauty of this. It's like your expectations are constantly subverted of what you think is going to be which. I should have listened to you crunching it in my <laughs> ear and see if I could hear some differences. Yeah, it's honestly, about, honestly in terms of like a, being a spooner, it is about the same like level of crunchiness. It's just one is a little more chewy and eggy and the other is a bit more powdery. Before you go into bowl number two, uh, yeah. bowl number one for me, I do believe that's the Cinnamon Toast Crunch. It's a little bit eggy, the cinnamon is more subdued. Though with a blindfold on, it does seem a little less flavorful, but that just might be my mind playing tricks on me. I really liked it. I'm going to give it a four out of five spoons, in my personal opinion. For, for bowl one? Yeah, I wasn't crazy about it, but it was about what I expect from like a Cinnamon Toast Crunch, more or less. So I'm sorry, you, I kind of cut you off. You were saying about no. bowl number two? <laughs> well, bowl number one was delicious, and, and I liked it, but I, I was once I got to bowl number two, my whole perspective changed on, mm -hmm. on, on how much enjoyment I was getting it, just as a snacking material. Mm -hmm. It did have more grit to it. There's yes. much more sugar powder coming off, but the flavor inside my mouth for bowl number two certainly gave it four spoons for, for mouthfeel, if that's a real world word. No, it's like texture. Yes, that exactly. Is, that's texture. A, that's one of these people. Yeah, that's a real stick. That's honestly a real sticking board of feel. Like, if the texture is gross, I'm not going to like the cereal. Right. I, that's why I don't eat gummy bears. Yeah. <laughs> who wants gummy bears? <laughs> well, I mean, I guess kids who have gummy bear vitamins would prefer that over, like, the pills or whatever. Yeah, yeah okay. For little kids. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to give bowl number two a three, personally. Wasn't a fan of how the cinnamon kind of 
pooled in the milk, and it, oh. and and, it, and while this, and while after a while it did get the like nice sort of chewy soft texture that I like as a spoonful of cinnamon toast crunch. It, those initial couple bites were they were very powdery. They deteriorated like in your mouth as opposed to like the chewiness of I expect from cinnamon toast crunch. Crunch, which yes, is the operative. Exactly. Yeah. So crunch. that that just me, and it is perfectly passable. That's why I give it a three. Because again, three does not mean. It wasn't great. It means it's perfectly average. Fours above average, twos below, yada yada yada. And I always want to stress that with this show. It's like, three is a great, it's honestly a good score for me. It's just, yeah. I, some things, I mean, you, you can't skimp on, right? Mm -hmm. Like, you might want to buy a brand name facial tissue, right? Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. we, we might want to buy a brand name Q-tip. Yeah. You know, cereal, it's important to like know which ones, you know, you can substitute for something cheaper and you know, which one you should go into knowing that, okay, this is this is cheaper, but it's not going to be what I expect. That's why I'm joining you in this battle is to give information to the yes, public. Yes, indeed. Yes. That is our mission statement. You're, you're doing good work, son. We're helping out all the snackers and spooners out there. Thank you. <laughs> So, well, are you see. ready to see the proper reveals? I don't know. Do I have to do anything special? No, we just have to sit here. <laughs> and I'll play a little animation that shows everything. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see the bowls. Okay, so that was another surprise. That, uh, that first poll honestly seemed more like what I would expect from Cinnamon Toast Crunch, but no, bowl number two was actually the Cinnamon Toast Crunch, the bowl number one was the Cinnamon Crunch. It's it's so weird to say those days back to back because they're so similar. I understand. So, like, so we have the, the generic, which was bowl number one, mm -hmm. and we have the name brand, which mm -hmm. was bowl number two. And it seemed like the entire the entire like opposite. I I gotta personally say I chose bowl number two. Yeah. It's my favorite for, for flavor. Now I, I didn't get to have the experience of milk. Mm -hmm. I'll save that for later at home. <laughs> That's interesting. You pick number two, I pick number one. That's so cool. And yet we expected it to be the opposite of what it really was. I, I expected it to... I expected the cheaper brand to actually blow the name brand in competition yeah. away. But I actually preferred the flavor of the name brand and the, the quantity of cinnamon sugary dustiness <laughs> all over my shirt and fly <laughs> here. This is why I love seriously serious cereal, cereal, cereal versus modes, honestly, because it's like when you don't know what to expect with, from a cereal, like when you're eating it, it's like it honestly brings out a more unbiased side of you, you know? Can I can I ask you a question? Yeah. Sure. What is your favorite cereal? Oh, without a doubt, that would be Captain kind of Crunch or Crunch Berry. I am a Crunch Berry fanatic. Yeah. So on a scale of one to ten Crunch Berry, <laughs> how many Crunch Berries would you give Cinnamon Toast Crunch? Hmm. You know, I would give them a solid. I would give Cinnamon Toast Crunch a solid nine. I love Cinnamon Toast Crunch all uh, around, but it's like I just, it's just some cereals I like more, you know. Yeah, yeah. And this was honestly a very eye-opening experience. It goes to show when you take away like the brand names that like tell you what to expect. It's fascinating what you'll find out. Yes, it is. Have you done a honeycomb cereal? Ah, uh, I don't think we have <laughs> actually. Well, if I get to come back for season eighteen or something, <laughs> yeah, we know we know what to, we know what to have. All right, deal. Honeycomb, big for big mouths. Yeah. Have you tried any of today's cereals? If you have, please leave your comments or questions in the field below. And don't forget to support us on Patreon for as low as $2 a month. If you do, you'll be able to chat with me daily, and you'll get a monthly illustration of the Seriously Cereal mascots, Booty and Bowler. Woohoo! Thanks for watching, you guys. <laughs>